SEO KP is to track and measure SEO success. What can be measured can be improved. Here's a look at the most valuable SEO KP is to help you track, measure, and improve your SEO efforts. If something can be measured, it can be improved by carefully measuring your SEO with metrics that match. To your business, you can understand where you are currently and what value SEO brings to your marketing. SEO KP is bridge the gap between your business and marketing objectives and the data available in SEO tools and web analytics. This article outlines the many SEO metrics and KPIs and how to tailor a set of SEO KPIs to your business. What are KPIs? A KPI is a key performance indicator. This is a quantifiable measurement of performance in relation to a specific objective. KPIs help you define targets and milestones and measure progress toward those goals. What are SEO KPIs? SEO KPIs are metrics used to measure SEO performance, typically. SEO KP is track visibility or traffic and how it fares in relation to your goals. Such metrics will quantify traffic from major search engines like Google and Bing and the real-world results of SEO strategies and tactics leads and sales. Using SEO KP is Careful measurement and tracking provide a control system to ensure your tactics deliver results and your time and effort are spent on productive tasks. Diligent measurement also provides feedback if your tactics are not working and inform you of how changes in the search landscape or algorithm impact performance. KPIs can be tiered to provide understandable metrics for all stakeholders. The marketing team will need more detail to ensure time is spent wisely on SEO versus PPC. But the board may only need to see top-level performance figures. Tailoring the KP is too. Your situation is the key to creating truly useful SEO KPIs. Objectives and KPIs. Your SEO KPIs should act as an extension of your overall business and marketing goals. You ensure you aim at relevant goals by considering your SEO goals as an extension of your overall marketing goals. Your SEO KP is then track performance toward that goal. The key is in the name. Literally and figuratively, KPs are key performance indicators. They force you to ask whether your SEO approach drives performance. If not, what can you do about it? This is really important but all too often overlooked. SEO can be so complex that you need clear objectives and ways to measure progress toward those goals to ensure your time and effort are spent wisely pursuing the right goals. SEO KPI process. The following is a simple process that you can use to determine your SEO goals and KPIs. Step 1. Determine your SEO goals. The first job is to identify your SEO objectives. What are the important tasks you need to achieve now in a month, three months, minus one month and a year?
The sale goals should connect to established organizational goals and you should clearly articulate how the sale goals drive the overall business goals. I suggest three to five goals initially to keep focus. You should then define your sale goals using the SMART goals system alternatively. You can use the OKR approach to objectives and key results detailed in Measure What Matters by John Bohr. This simple system was used by Google, Microsoft, and many other huge companies to simplify goal setting to drive massive growth. The right approach will depend upon your business. But whatever you choose, your goals should be relevant, measurable, achievable, and time-bound. Step 2. Define what you will measure. The next step is to define what you will measure. Your measurement metrics can be thought of as steps and each should take you closer to the overall goal, as with the goals. You want, at most, three to five measurement metrics for each goal when your goals are achieved. You should be able to measure performance to determine if your strategy here is valid. Step 3. Decide on the length of your cycle. As a general rule of thumb, sale metrics are tracked monthly. There are exceptions to this rule. Keyword rankings may be tracked daily but reviewed monthly. And you may also want quarterly, bi-yearly and annual reports. Remember, with SEO, you may only see tangible. Results like leads and sales when your keywords rank highly and drive traffic. Factor progress toward the goal into your overall cycle length. Step 4. Review and reflect. The goal is to review each KPI and, ideally, score performance. Asterisk what is working, asterisk what can you do differently next month. The purpose of KP is it's to help. You review your approach and think critically about what is or is not working. A highly ranked organic keyword in modern search may not drive the expected traffic numbers. Think of this as an experiment. Your KPIs are there to test the validity of your hypothesis. Be flexible and be ready to adapt and adjust your tactics based on the results. Example. Asterisk, Asterisk objective, objective to sell, to sell more, more kitchens. kitchens. Asterisk, Asterisk KPI, KPI 1 increase, increase rank, rank for kitchen, kitchen keywords. keywords. Asterisk, Asterisk KPI, KPI 2 increase, increase organic, organic traffic. traffic. On kitchen, On kitchen pages. pages. Asterisk KPI, KPI 3, 3 improve, improve engagement, engagement rates. rates. Asterisk, Asterisk KPI, KPI 4, 4 increase, increase organic, organic conversions. Here we have a simple objective measured with for simple. Say how KP is. This does not have to be complicated. Following this approach, you will create 3 to 5 relevant SEO. Goals that you can easily measure with 3 to 5 sale KP is each. Thanks for watching.